Laid back, carefree attitude, a man who loved his two small children, always a smile on his face. That's how Walmart shooting victim John Crawford is being described tonight by his dad. WLWT News 5's Jackie Congedo goes beyond the surveillance video and the grand jury decision. She spoke with a father who lost his son inside that Beaver Creek store. Jackie? Mike, the world has come to know John Crawford as the man whose death is now at the center of a U.S. Justice Department investigation. But tonight, his dad gave me an idea for the life his son lived. The smile was so convincing. You could tell that, that that's who he, he was. Born at Christ Hospital, a graduate of Greenberg Christian Academy, his dad tells us John Crawford III grew into a laid-back 22-year-old who loved football, the Weather Channel, and treasured his family above all else. He loved those boys. Uh, he was very, very proud. You know, uh, loved those boys, and they loved him. Six-month-old Jaden and one-year-old John Crawford IV. As you can see, he got him gripped up right there. <laughs> the pictures are bittersweet now. Unfortunately, I didn't take a lot of pictures with him, you know, because I hate taking them. But I, I kind of regret that I, I didn't take a lot of pictures now. His son, dead at 22, shot by a police officer while holding a pellet gun inside the Beaver Creek Walmart. They went inside the Walmart to actually for s'mores, to make s'mores, items to make s'mores. His dad had come into town that day for a surprise visit. Instead, he found his son's girlfriend panicked. She was on the phone with Trey, as they called him, when police shot him. We were able to put the cell phone on um, speaker. And, uh, you know, we were listening. I could hear uh, voices, you know, sir, we need you to get your hands up, sir. We need you to get your hands up. But he was already sucking air. He was, he was trying to breathe. That smile, now a memory. His son's dream of going back to school just a whisper, but Crawford says his boy is still with him. I was his biggest fan, and he was my—he's my biggest fan. He was like, I know my dad's gonna handle business. He's gonna vindicate me because I wasn't doing anything wrong. Yesterday, a grand jury decided not to indict the two officers involved in the shooting, and today Crawford's family called that quote incomprehensible. Live in the newsroom, Jackie Conjado, WLWT News Five. Jackie, thank you. The Crawford's family attorney said today no decision has been made about civil action, but he said he would seek the full investigative file from the Beaver Creek Police.